but uh, this is a list on the cross A, B, C, D, E, and F alters. What is that now? It's something I made on myself about the different personalities. It explains what class they were in. These are like the ones I was talking about, the living personalities of class A alters. And, uh, uh, like, there's different groups, personal and stuff, and there's certain ways to get to each group. Yeah, as I think about the one. But, uh, like, in order to get certain personalities, you'd have to say a code. That's usually in order to get a certain personality? Do these people, we're, we're talking about these people, who are we talking about? Somebody that would say trigger you. <clears throat> People from the FBI, people from the CIA, uh, the controllers. Of the but you said you never seen the FBI agent before. Well, I've seen them, but I'm talk when I said I didn't hadn't seen them. I mean, none have come to interview me. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, I've met lots of FBI agents, but I just have never had any ever come interview, interview me. You. Okay. That's what I meant by that. I didn't mean that I've never met me. Yeah. Okay. I've met a lot of them, but uh, it's like with most personalities under. I could use Dustin. Dustin, that is, okay. Zach Ryan, and Br Bradley, which are all military type uh, of personalities. Okay, I'm going to hold this up. Okay, you got it there? Yeah, I got a better one in here. Okay, let's, let's get your best one. But, uh, uh, okay, just hold that up and explain but, uh, it. It's like it's... Okay, in the top it says Paul Benassi. And it says Dustin here, and it says Zach, Ryan, and Bradley, is it? Yeah, Bradley. Those were the ones that were in control of uh, the ones that were under him, which was Carl. It's pretty much like a military uh, operation. You got the leaders, and then you got the, the you got your company commander, your plat platoon sergeant. Your platoon. This is all wrapped up in you, one person, you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, and, let's not leave this. Let's, let's, well, for, let's explain this further. Put it over here. Yeah. But, uh, well, now, the purpose for it is that one, each personality that was created for their, for them, each one was just taught a little bit of you know how to do something, because they didn't want one personality to know too much. Like one knows how to, like maybe uh, develop film, you know, for spying stuff. One might know how to develop color film which they did, but one might know how to fly an airplane. One might, might know how to fly a helicopter. But none of them ever learned more than one operation. You're talking about each personality. Yeah. Each personality. That made them separate so that, like, if they ever got captured, if they were spying or something, the personality that would usually get captured would be one of these lo lower ones here and stuff that wouldn't know anything. All they'd know is basically their name. You know, if they were in the military, their name, rank, and serial number, which in my case, all they'd know is their name, uh, date of birth and home telephone number or something. I don't even know my home okay, telephone Okay, let me explain this. At the top it says Paul Benassi. What's this W off to the side, uh, pointing uh, down to Dustin? That uh, means that, well, i got a bigger chart that shows it somewhere. Okay. Let's see. Dustin, this chart was right over here somewhere. It has to be over here somewhere. It's usually shared with another personality. You have to go through, like to get to Dustin, which Dustin is right here. In order to get to Dustin's group, you have to go through me. You have to go through this group here and this group here. It's like you have to go through all the personalities just to get to his group. His group is so far down. So okay, far, so this is the big chart here, right? Yeah, it's got. This is the big it chart. All personalities, but it has. No, the, this has got all your personalities on it. No, it just has the main. The main personalities. All the circles mean that there's groups okay. inside of each one. Okay. Once you get up on the other side of the camera, and take us through this chart, while I'm holding it up for the camera. Okay. First of all, go look at the camera and see if, if I'm if I'm getting the whole page. Yeah, I could uh, always take it off and bring it up there. Okay. What what, what do you got there? I mean, no. I got a. Uh, Got the whole page? Yeah, I got the whole page. Let me zoom in real Two quick. Two pages? Yeah, I got both pages. Okay, come on up here and explain it. Then. I'll hold it. Hang on, let me get this. 
Si Paul Benassi. Mm, okay. Okay, now I can. Come up here and explain it. Okay, I want you to stand over here to be easier, I think. You okay. See, you see it easier. This is. Uh, we'll go through step by step. Start with Paul Benassi here and Paul Benassi. Why is Paul Benassi on this page and why is he on this page? Well, these are actually two charts I made. Each one of them represents. This guy's Christian Benassi over here. He's one of the main controllers. He's also over here. He's in control of 33 personalities. Zacharias Knight's in control of 21 lower personalities. Uh, Mark's in control of 21. And it took Christian and Zach, and they came together and they agreed and they made Christian. They made another personality that the two of them had to agree on to let him out. Whereas before, like Christian, anyone that was under him, he could agree on himself to let any one of them out. But on these ones, they were like trying to create, and both of them have to do it, and then on Mark Anderson and Zach created Dane, so both of them had to agree when they let him out and to let his personalities out. No, I was under here, Kristen has eight, and Dane has seven, seven personalities, personalities under him. him. Yeah, under them. And uh, it's like on, under Todd here, Todd was directly, he was split from a different thing. He came off the main core line from me, just like Christian actually did. Mm -hmm. And I put them down lower since they, these three are together. But Todd has 10 personalities under him, and Micah has 18 under him. But over here, when we get to this group, What's I w? was separated. The W means that you have to go through one of these. Oh, you have to go through one of these personalities to get the yeah, W? Yeah, I got a... Let's see. I think I got one there. But, uh, <coughs> Yeah, I don't have one in here, but oh well. I thought I had a chart that said what the W stood for because it's kind of hard to remember everything. You know, and I know what it means. That's why it's got the block there. Mm -hmm. That means I can't go. Oh, that's Wesley. He's the only way that you can get to these guys. Okay. Wesley is a personality that I never knew about until just before I got out of prison. He would be the one that would decipher information. When people would go to get information to me and stuff, if it was something he didn't want me to have, he would block them. He'd get in front of them. It's like when I was in my building, I had a building inside my head, which I seen. I could walk through the halls and stuff. And uh, there was an office that I never knew what was in there. It was Wesley's office before my door. There was Wesley's room, my room, and there was like an invisible shell. Whenever one of the person I was trying to give him inf me information that he didn't want him to have, he was like the all-seeing eye. He was like, oh, he knew everything that was going on with every personality. And he'd stop them right before they could leave. They couldn't get to my place because he'd have that invisible filled up and they'd run into it. When you're in prison. And they'd have to go in there. Well, no, it was any time. Okay. In the past. But when I was trying to get information inside there, he was the one that blocked everything or twisted stuff up. They'd have to go in there and check with him. Then they'd have to come out and go to me and stuff. And sometimes he'd take the information and he'd twist it all around. And the personality would try and tell me stuff and there'd be a block. He was like a wall that blocked stuff. And uh, there was no way to go to these personalities without going through him directly. That's why it's brought the broken line and means indirectly. I had to go through him even though I didn't know it. But I could go to these ones down here without that because I'd go straight to him. These guys I could go straight to. These ones were a little bit more difficult because I had to go through these and him. But I could go directly to him if I needed to. But these ones down here I had to go through him first. Okay, this is Dustin and, uh, here. Dustin was like in control of the military all of the military personalities. He was in control of all of them. And these are all military personalities? Down all here? these ones over in here. These ones over here dealt with uh, Satanism and... Okay, let's stay on the military and they come across. we got Alex, Zach, Sean, Ryan, Brent, Bradley, and Carl. Yeah. Carl's got 21, bradley got 6. These others these just have circles. They don't have any... They clue. have personalities under them, but those are all on their list that I have. But they're on another list, huh? Yeah, I okay. didn't figure it out so, because they so had somebody it, that I just... In order to, in order, if someone had to deal with your military background, they would have to go through... Well, the pastor would have had to go through Wesley. Wesley to and Dustin, to Dustin, and Dustin. And then Dustin would have to let him in there, a combination yeah. of both of them. In order to get any of the information that they'd all know, you'd have to get Wesley and Dustin together because Dustin takes orders only from Wesley, mm -hmm. which means that he can't tell you anything unless he's got orders from above. To tell you anything, these guys down here can't tell you anything unless Dustin says it's okay. Anybody in his group has to go through Carl. Carl has to go through Bradley. Bradley has to go through these two, and these two. You know, it's like, it's like the military. Whenever it's like passing the buck upward. 
Yeah. And then this is your satanic information, right? That's the ones that dealt with satanic stuff. This one dealt with... Kelly had like 50-some personalities that all dealt with being locked up in different situations like in prison, being stuck in a box, being, you know, tied up and stuck somewhere. He dealt with all the kind of... There's yeah. Wesley here again, though. Wesley there used to be called confusion. And this used to be death. Life. He dealt with all the death. Life. He it changed his life. name. He changed his name after. From death to life. Yeah. When they when they started before the integrated stuff, they didn't want anything to do with the Satanists anymore, so they all changed their name, and he changed the name to Wesley. Uh, I don't know why, but. But the top of here for the Satanists. And his name is West Lee, not Wesley. It's okay, Wesley. West Lee. Yeah. And this is Paul J. Banashi, and then we have Wesley, not West Lee. Yeah. And life, which is actually death. And Kelly. Paul Jr. used to be, uh, oh, I forgot what his name was even. He changed it, though, because he didn't like Because mm -hmm. his name was, his, he had a satanic name, actually. Military satanic, what's this? They dealt with kind of, I'm not sure. I mean, I've tried to deal with their personality, their, their memories and stuff, and they really weren't really bad. They were mainly dealing with in-between stuff. I mean, it was like nothing that was too abusive and stuff, but they just kind of, came out, they had bits and pieces of information to give, but mainly they just, they were like, well actually, these two here all had computers, they were like the computer personalities, they stored all the information, they made everything on like microfilm and stuff inside my head, they made it so that when people asked me details and stuff, they knew exactly what was going on and what, you know, why when I took trips to the place and stuff, I could tell them you know, every town we went through on the way to Colorado or something, and that was because we used to play a game and we used to do the alphabet. And you and Mike didn't, you know, picked it up, but they were the ones that stored. You and Mike. They stored all the signs inside. Mike is who? He was the, no, he ain't another personality. He's a. He was another kid that was with us. Oh, another family. kid. Okay. All right. What what is what's this group here? They dealt with almost all the. They dealt with a little like. Dungeons and Dragons, but they were all sexual. Sexually abused personalities and stuff. So. They were the ones that were first created, and they were purposely created. Uh, they weren't natural. These ones were created by the uh, same group of military that used a lot of Satanism and the military personalities because the Satanism caused a lot of personalities. They could use it like sacrifice and stuff because it would cause, you know, altars and stuff. They would use, sometimes they'd even have fake sacrifices. They, you know, make you think that they killed somebody. They'd even take the you know, take a body or something, but they they'd let the kids see exactly where they buried the things that are, or the people at that they're supposedly killing stuff. And even if they do kill a person, they'll bury the kid, they'll bury the person right in front of the kids. And when the kids leave, they dig the body up and they usually they'll uh, incinerate it or cremate it. And uh, the kid, you know, if he ever goes forward and says, "Well, I know where the bodies are at," they're, he's going to take them exactly where the body was at. They're going to dig around and not find anything, and they're going to say, well, the kid's incredible because, you know, he doesn't know anything. Right. That's just to do that. What, what are these 